In this series of short movies, I'm describing nine elements of authentic learning environments for use in schools, universities or other training and education contexts. In this movie, I'm discussing the fifth element, collaboration. Collaboration means that in your learning environment, you provide joint problem solving and social support. So collaboration uh, can be provided in a learning environment by providing team, by arranging students into teams or pairs rather than as individuals. Uh, collaboration can often be encouraged through technology and tasks are addressed to groups rather than to individuals. There's many, many ways, even if, people, if students are not, are not on campus physically, or in, present in the classroom, students can work collaboratively using a whole range of, uh, of resources such as wikis. A couple of examples I want to give you is, uh, this one is one on digital stories that was created in a course for, it was ICT for early childhood teachers. So the students were arranged into groups where they created very short little stories uh, they created a podcast of an original story which they made in PowerPoint and then they uh, did a voiceover with it and created it into a little podcast which they then could play on their, on their mobile devices. The collaboration involved um, was uh, quite interesting because of the various roles that people had and the number of different technologies that were required. In another example like that, uh, this is one where mobile phones were used with cameras in an adult education context and what the students had to um, create a podcast of a workplace procedure because it was adult education, they were all mainly trainers in the adult education context. So in this particular one, the students made a little film on making, on a cooking procedure for a restaurant, and this one is uh, how to cook adobo. So when you set up a, a learning uh, environment, it's good to ask whether it does allow for collaboration. So are students able to collaborate rather than simply cooperate on tasks? So often you'll find in a collaborative situation the work is all divided up and simply all brought together and one person often ends up doing most of the work of putting it all together. Uh, one way to tell about that is if the grades are given for group effort of a whole product rather than individual effort, if you're giving individual uh, marks for students, then it's possibly not um, a, a really good collaborative learning environment. In the next movie, I describe the next element of authentic learning, reflection.